And I'm gonna do some work here today, some restretching. Nice garden. We've already moved the bed and so forth. And uh, bubbled here. See, I've already pulled up alongside there by the bathroom. But that bubble needs to be taken out towards the bathroom and uh, towards this wall over here. So I'm putting a, another piece of tax ship in there. The red one is the one I'm putting in. And then I'm putting another one on top of that so that it makes it even with the, t with the metal. The problem was partly that the metal was higher than the tack strip. It was causing dip in the carpet and also the bubbles. Now I'll pr be proceeding to stretch it in with my stretcher, which is important to use the, that uh, stretcher to get a better stretch on it than kicking it in, which they may have done. Uh, the handle goes down and then it forces the head to stretch it forward. It is now stretched up to that doorway and as you can see it went a little beyond. I had to stretch it past the doorway because of the excess carpet that was on there. And also what I did, I usually like to do is go beyond what I say I'm going to do and I stretch it to this wall too and you see the carpet that's up the wall there is excess carpet but the other installer didn't stretch it tight enough. So there's about an inch up the wall. Huh. Hello. Hello. How's it look? Ah, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, much, much, very big improvement. It's, in, uh, it's interesting, people think, you know, it almost looks like it's a lot newer. Yes, yeah. Well, it was because of the rippling, I thought there would be dirt marks and things as well but this, right. is, this is a huge improvement because there used to be such a big gap over here mm -hmm. and then this feels much more secure you bolstered it up i try to keep up and do the carpet every year get it cleaned and we're due for cleaning in another another two weeks so yeah. perfect timing awesome very happy great awesome okay. thank you very much okay for hiring me